a very warm greetings to all my lovely students. I once again welcome back to your English online classes. Students, today in this video we will be doing the explanation of the poem Grasshopper Green. In the previous video, I have done the summary of this poem. Now, what did you study in the summary? In the summary, you studied about an insect. Who, which insect? Grasshopper. So, what we learned? That Grasshopper Green was a very comical fellow. He always used to eat the best food. And during the summer time, he used to wear bright trousers, jacket and cap. And he used to like to play in the green and grassy meadow and under the hot sun rays. And even during the summer also, Grasshopper was very happy and he was enjoying his life. And he was inviting all the small children like you all to come and join him while he was playing. And at the corner, the spider, grandmother spider, she was sitting and watching the grasshopper play. And the grandmother spider, she was uh, compared with the mouse because she was sitting and doing nothing, just watching. So student, this was a summary of the poem which you did in the previous week. Now, it's time to do the line by line explanation of this poem. So, get ready with your English course book. Dear students, let's start the detailed reading and explanation of this poem. Let us do the line by line explanation of this beautiful poem. The writer or the poet is anonymous. That means unknown person about whom we don't have much idea. So the title of the poem is grasshopper green let's see the warm up a grasshopper is an insect look at some other members of the, this family and rearrange the letters to find their names so i have already done it students the first one is beetle the second one moth third one is butterfly and the last one we call it as cricket now, let us come to the poem. The first paragraph. Four lines. Four lines are there in the first paragraph. This poem consists of one, two, three and four. Four paragraphs. And each paragraph has four lines. Let's do the first one. Grasshopper Green is a comical chap. He lives on the best of fear. Bright little trousers, jacket and cap. These are his summer wear. So what information we get from this first paragraph students? From the first paragraph we come to know that Grasshopper Green is a comical chap. Comical means funny and chap we can call it as fellow. So we can see in the first line the Grasshopper Green is a very funny fellow. And he always eats the best food. Best of fair means? Best of fair means students? Best food. So it does not eat here and there. He always eats the best food. And now his dress. He wears bright little trousers, jacket and a cap. And in which season students? These are his summer wear. These are his summer wear. Now in the first paragraph students, the rhyming word is chap and cap and fair and wear. So in the first paragraph, we come to know about grasshopper green, which is or he is a very funny fellow. He eats the best food and in the summer time, he wears bright little trousers, jacket and cap. Now in the second paragraph. Out in the meadow he loves to go. Playing away in the sun. It's hoppity skippity high and low. 
summers the time for fun so in this paragraph students we come to know about his movement now out in the meadow meadow means flat land covered with grass or we can call it in short as grassy land so where does he play he plays in a grassy green grassy land or field so he loves to play in the green grassy field and under the hot sun so out in the meadow he loves to go playing away in the sun so under the hot sun he likes to play in the green meadow and here its movement is compared how does he move it's hopperty skipperty high and low and summer is the time for fun so in which season the grasshopper has fun the grasshopper has fun in the summer season the grasshopper is very happy in the summer time that is in the summer season and he plays freely in the grassy land under the sun and it jumps gracefully high and low and these two words students hopperty and skipperty it tells us the movement of the grasshopper now in this paragraph students the rhyming word go low and sun and fun now the third paragraph grasshopper green has a quaint little house the meaning of this word quaint it means pretty in a funny way that means mockingly you are telling it funny so grasshopper green has a quaint little house and where is the house it's under the hedge so bright grandmother spider as still as a mouse watches him through his flight flight means the movement through the air that means the way the grasshopper is flying or you can say moving high and low so in the third paragraph we come to know about the house where does the grasshopper live so grasshopper lives in a very pretty little house and this house is under the hedge and who is watching the grasshopper students the grandmother spider is quietly watching the grasshopper and she is called grandmother because she is very still like a mouse she does not do any movement and gra and she is watching the grasshopper who is enjoying everything so grandmother spider as still as a mouse watches him through his flight so what does grandmother spider watch she watches the grasshopper and its movement his movement through the air now students in this paragraph the rhyming words are house and mouse and bright and flight so what we come to know in these three paragraphs now let's do a small recap that grasshopper green is a very funny fellow but it eats always the best food and the best season for the grasshopper is the summer season and even in the summer season he wears bright little trousers jacket and cap and then he is out to play in the hot sun jumping gracefully up and down high and low and grasshopper green house is described in this third paragraph and it has a very pretty little house and it is under the hedge and at the corner as still as a mouse grandmother spider is watching the movement of the grasshopper green now students the last paragraph gladly he is calling the children i know out in the beautiful sun 
It's hoppity, skippity, high and low. Summer's the time for fun. Here in this paragraph, two students, the last two lines are repeated. So, gladly means happily. The grasshopper is calling the children. The children like you all to come out and play. Out in the, uh, come out and play in the bright and beautiful sun. So, grasshopper is telling that let it be summer season. But it's time to play. So, all the children come out and play in this bright and beautiful sun. And again, in which way? You should run and play and move out gracefully up and down, high and low. Because it is the summer time and summer time is always full of fun. And here in this last paragraph, students, the rhyming words. No and low and sun and fun. So, in the last paragraph, the grasshopper is inviting all the small children like you all to come out and play in the bright and beautiful sun. And play as you wish. Run here and there. Jump high and low. Or if you feel like you can move gracefully. But come out. Come out and play with grasshopper green in this bright summer time. So students, in each and every paragraph we have rhyming words and the scheme or you can say the way it is AB, AB. That means A and B and again A and B. So this is the rhyme or you can say the scheme of this poem. So with this students, I have completed the explanation of this poem. Hope the things are clear to you all. In the next video, students, we will be doing the next lesson. Till then, take care and goodbye.